Hey friends, today it's Logical Volume Manager time and I'm going to keep it fun, fast, furious, something with an F because it's Friday, fabulous, fabulous, German, German, German. Um, if you're studying for the RHCSA exam, don't click away. I'm going to cover everything that you need to know for the LVM portion of the exam. And so let's just jump in. Check out the blog. Yes, link in the description down below because it's comprehensive, it's won many awards, it's wunderbar. Um, so let's jump in. After you've added or extended a hard drive, use the list block command to see if it shows up. I just added three drives, they're five gigs each, as you can see there. And if it doesn't show up automatically for you, do this command, I'm just pasting it in to save time. It's on the blog, I show you three methods on how to scan the SCSI host. So, Pick, the, pick your poison. Uh, this one is uh, one I prefer. And now hopefully your device shows up fine. Let's do PVS and see the physical devices that we have. We have this one. We can also do PV display to see more information. And so let's do PV create. Let's, uh, because I can't remember the name, let's list block again. Let's do PV create and let's do div and then VDB. And now it's been successfully added. And you can see there, I have now five gigs free that I did not have uh, before. And that's all fine and dandy. Like how do we use the new five gigs? Well, let's do, let's, so we break down logical volume manager into three parts, or at least I do in my mind. It's the physical devices, it's the volume group, and then it's the logical volume groups. So let's take a look at the volume group that we have. Uh, VGS, you can also do VG display to see more information about the volume group. And see, uh, right now it's allo allo allocated, allocated 19 gigs. And uh, we know that we have five gigs free. What we did there is that we added a whole disk to Logical Volume Manager without any partitions. And that is my preferred way of working with Logical Volume Manager, because let's say you have uh, a volume group that's var log and it just keeps growing, growing, growing. And you have to extend it every three weeks or every month. And then you just extend that hard drive and then you do PV extend, you extend the volume group and it's easy peasy. There's no partitions that you have to delete. Now that you know that, let's extend the volume group that we already have, which is listed up here. This one, uh, let's do VG extend, and let's do run, and the device that we want to include in the volume group, and let's do VGS. And now you can see we have five gigs free mice. Let's add this free space to a logical volume group root. And you can currently see that it's 17 gigs that's just extended by five gigs. And so let's do LV extend hyphen R. It's gonna resize the file system on the fly for us. Super neat, nice, comfy, quick. Um, small L is actually for extend, so it's quite nice. You can do plus 100% free. And then we do device, and then we do the name of the volume group. This is how I do it. You can do it in a different way. I'll show you that as well. I'll show you that. Wait a minute. Uh, and then you do the name of the logical volume. You can also, let's just do that since we're here. And that's, it's done. It's done, people. Uh, let's do DF. And see, it's now, where is it? There is it. There it is. 22 gigs. It has been extended. Easy peasy is that. And I'll tell you what's so nice about this. So in the future, if you ever have to extend root, you just expand that disk, no deleting partitions, no nothing. It's, it's, it's so quick, it's so nice. Thank me, you can donate something to me in the future when you think of me, uh, when you're an administrator. <laughs> Um, so when it talked about the mapper, see, this is the mapper location. So let's just copy that. Push bada bing bada boom. We're having fun, people. So instead of using the volume group like I did there, uh, you can use the mapper address. So both are symbolic links to the same thing. So it doesn't matter. It's in the blog. 
Okay, using a whole disk, super nice, neat, but what if you're stuck with the partition in an LVM and you have to extend it? Well, let's do that. And if you're taking the exam, this is super important. Don't skip this part. You have to know this to do the exam. It, it says so in the objective. So you have to create a partition with the size X and be able to delete a partition. So uh, let's look at what device we're gonna use. Let's do VDC. And let's see if I can remember the parted command. We're gonna use parted for this. I'm not a fan of parted. I use CF disk if I can. It's It looks good. It's, it's good. It's really good. Uh, I use F disk if I have to. And uh, then I use G disk if I have to. And so what's the difference? GB, G disk is for GBT and then F disk is for MS DOS or master boot record disks. Uh, so let's get this show on the road. Let's use VDC. Thank you for watching. A word from our sponsor. No joke, joke. Uh, part it. Let's do device VDC. Let's do make a label GBT. And let's do make part primary. And it's going to start at first megabyte. And let's say on the exam it says uh, make it 2300. So we would do like that. And let's do let's block again. And there we have it. Shabang, shadabing, shadaboom. Uh, so let's look at that command again. I'm going to add it to the blog because it's not there. Uh, thank you for reminding me. So that's a quick, neat, nifty way to do it on the exam. Next step is to add this partition to the logical volume manager. And as we can see, it's not listed right there. So we do PV create and then uh, the name of, of the disk, uh, the partition try VDC one. And now we can see that it's been added. Now we create a volume group. Let's do VG create cat picks. And let's do device VDC one. And now we have a volume group cat picks. Neat. Now we need to create a logical volume group for the cat picks. The name is going to be data. And then the name of the volume group cat picks. And then let's do a capital L different than earlier. Let's do plus two gigs. And I think that's all she wrote. <laughs> Yes. So we created a uh, volume group capex, logical volume group data, and the size is two gigs. Way to go us. The last step is to make a file system, make a file, make a file on diff capex data. There it is. And now we can uh, mount it on, let's do a megaderm. Let's do funny, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, people. Let's do mount uh, dev capex data and on funny. Now we have that mounted funny, funny, funny. And let's do touch, touch, touch Armando. Ow. There we have Armando. It's on the new stuff that we just created. Let's take a look. We are so awesome. So here it is, capex. Mounting on funny, two gigs. We have one file there. And I put one file in there because once we delete the partition table and we extend it, I just want to see Armando there. So, way to go. So now we do the scary stuff. We actually delete the partition table and we extend it, which is something you don't really want to do in production. So that's why I always recommend using whole disks. Preach it. If you have access to CF disk, I would always recommend using that. So uh, let's say we're working with this disk. We just created this partition. It's mounted here, cool stuff. So we would have about 2.9 gigs free. So I would do CF disk and then dev and VDC. And yeah, you, there you can see free size 2.9 gigs. All you do is do resize and then write that and that's all she wrote it's so nice it's super easy but um hint hint you might not always have access to cf disk so let's do g disk and let's do 
can't, can't remember these names, people. G disk, and let's do minus L dev VDC. And then you can see, I do that general just to check if it's a GBT disk or MS-DOS. And so it is a GBT. I knew that beforehand. I'm just showing you the command. So let's do G disk. Good place to start. Let's do question mark, see what options we have. Let's print out the partition table. It's good to have it on the screen, really necessary. And let's do I and let's see the partition width. We're gonna need that for later. So do that. And let's do print and let's scary, do the scary, super scary part and delete it. It is gone. And so we can verify that. And now let's do N for new. It's the default is the first one. Let's do, it starts at 2048. We're happy with that. Let's do plus four gigs. Remember the old one was two. So, and now let's see all the codes for the partition tables. And let's find the LVM somewhere. Enter, oh, there it is, 8E00. So let's do that, 8E00 and print. Now we can see that we have a four gig partition and number one. So uh, what we need to do now, let's do I again. You can see that the grid has changed. That is not a good thing. Let's do the copy the old one right here. And now we have to do something pretty cool. Nifty. Do X for expert mode. See the options. What we need to do is uh, C, change partition grid. Yes, we want that. And so this is the old one, putting that in there. And let's do right. Proceed. Do you want to proceed? This is override. Yes, this is the scary part. So if you're in production, working with partitions is scary. Bam. That's all she wrote. Is the stuff, is Armando still there? Let's find out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Armando is there. Uh, good stuff. Now let's look at PVS. As you can see, it's not been increased. So this block, you can see that this partition right here is not four gigs. It's actually 2.1, it's two part pro. And let's see all this block again. And we can see it's four gigs. I, 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 I should not quit my day job. PVS, so let's do PV resize dev VDC one. We have free, PV free, IP freely. Um, now, CatPix data has two gigs available. Now let's do LV, resize, resize the file system on the fly like we want to. Remember we used capital L last time to use the extents. Let's do a small one because we just want to use everything that's free, everything that's free. 100% free, uh, let's do dev, capex, the way that I wanna do it. I'm the dictator here, and data. Well, let's all see row, dfth, and see this a bad boy now is four gigs. We did it, people. We should work at NASA or something. And let's do, oh, uh, that's funny. Armando is still there. He is safe. Mm. So, oh, that was too loud, sorry. Are we starting to feel like LVM ninjas? I feel like one. And so it is super important, even though we've done this, and it's, it's amazing. Um, we do not want our boss to call us at 3 a.m. Where's the cat pics? Where's the cat pics? Because we just updated the server and rebooted it. And also exam hint hint tip, everything needs to survive a reboot. So let's mount funny in a persist persistent way. Block ID, let's find the one for cat stuff. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> 
Um, so copy. This is how I mount things. You should too. It is the best. We are ninjas. Uh, FS tab. And so let's do at the end right here. Um, so block ID, you have to take that Saka out. Saka, Saka. And um, <laughs> um, and that's do, uh, what was it, funny? It was funny. And then we do the file system. And then let's do defaults. And let's do also the that we do not want any file system checks or dumps for it dumps dumps and so let's do u mount funny by funny and here's a cool thing if you didn't know about it m tap m tap and so if you want to see everything that's uh, mounted on your system it should be there so let, we can do grep funny Funny is not there, so M tap, ETC M tap. Uh, let's do mount minus A. And uh, it, it's mounted. It's mounted. We can do it like that. You can see that it's mounted. <laughs> We're so good. We're so quick. Friday quick. Friday fun quick. Um, anyway, so what it's complaining about there is system CTL daemon reload. And so if you would do mount A right now, it's not going to. I was not gonna say anything. So, are we happy? I think we're happy. I forgot one thing before we leave. It's uh, how to rename stuff. So, let's say that your boss is super happy with cat pics, uh, but he wants to make it more personal and he doesn't like the logical volume name data. He wants Snickers, his cat's name, to be it. Uh, so, LV rename. LV rename, it's gonna be dev, and then the volume group name, cat picks, and then it's data to dev, cat picks, data, no, snickers. Oh, it was supposed to be snickers. Anyways, it's Snicker. So that's his new name. Hey, Snicker. And the final step is to do a reboot and see if everything worked. <laughs> let's SSH back into this bad boy and let's do DFTH. Let's see if Cat Snicker is there. It is. It is. It survived the reboot. And that also, let's do LS Funny. Let's just see Armando. It makes us feel good. So I think that's it. Link in the description for the blog. It's yummy. It's Snickersy. Uh, and also write in the comments if you have questions and then I can answer you. Also add it to the blog. We're a community learning together. And I think that includes everything. It was not supposed to be too long. It's actually what you need to know for the exam and also real world administration. But uh, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.